Atomic Mass Games, the creators of the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game, shocked the industry today with an announcement that may make it the most important game design studio in all of miniature gaming. What's up, folks? Welcome back to Tactical Tortoise. My name is Trevi, and today I'm going to be talking about Atomic Mass Games and the recent announcement that Asmodee was moving all of its Star Wars miniature game development from the previous design studios that were in charge of them, which was namely Fantasy Flight Games, which creates Star Wars X-Wing, Armada, and Legion, and bringing those all under a single umbrella in their new company, Atomic Mass Games. For those who don't know, Atomic Mass Games is responsible for the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game, a game of which I am a great big fan, and for that reason, this announcement is super exciting. Unfortunately, the international climate wasn't perfect for Crisis Protocol to make the splash that I think it deserved. It came out uh, late last year in 2019, and almost immediately, uh, right as it was starting to work out its organized play with a wide release schedule uh, immediately got hit by COVID and as such lost a lot of its momentum. But if you haven't played it, Crisis Protocol is a phenomenal game. I think it's certainly one of my favorite miniature games that's available right now. It's super fast. It's super well designed. Uh, it takes both casual and competitive play super well. A standard game plays in under an hour, which is incredible. It has options to play like a co-op mode, which is super sick and has some very tight game design. So the fact that Atomic Mass Games is taking over the Star Wars licenses from Fantasy Flight Games, which are, I mean, they're they're fine. They're, <laughs> they're okay. But unfortunately, there are none of the Fantasy Flight Star Wars games that I could not point at a couple glaring issues in their lineup. So the fact that Atomic Mass Games is taking them over is super exciting. Now let's talk about the press release that Atomic Mass Games has released specifically. Now, a lot of people on the internet are kind of freaking out because they assumed that this announcement was about a new Star Wars game being created by Atomic Mass. That's not what it is. No, everyone stop freaking out. It's okay. Y'all can calm down. All that's happening is that the Star Wars game design team is moving from Fantasy Flight over to Atomic Mass. Those teams will, as far as I can see, remain almost entirely intact, so I don't think we'll see any major differences in the design of X-Wing, Armada, or Legion. Simone Elliott, who is a licensing manager at Fantasy Flight and was responsible for its acquisition of the Star Wars IP for use in miniature games, is going to take over Atomic Mass from Will Schick, the former head of business development over at Privateer Press, manage the merger between the two groups, and Will Schick is moving to more of a creative role as head of product development. So all in all, are we going to expect some brand new and groundbreaking game design for the former Fantasy Flight's Star Wars games coming out of Atomic Mass? I mean, probably not. I, I think honestly, very little is going to change besides potentially the logo on the boxes. Asmodee already has all of its distribution in place for all of these games, and I doubt that Atomic Mass taking them over is really going to change very much at all, moving from the Fantasy Flight design studio. I have to imagine that Asmodee's supply chains are already in place, and their agreements with overseas manufacturers are not going to change. Given that the teams are remaining relatively intact, I don't think that we're going to see very many changes in the rules of these games either. That said, from what it seems to me, as soon as this merger is completed and the Fantasy Flight employees give control of Atomic Mass back to its founders, the day-to-day -day direction and operations of these individual teams may move to look a little bit more like uh, the AMG design philosophy. If that's the case, that would be phenomenal. Like I mentioned before, there are some glaring issues in these Star Wars games that, as far as I know, Crisis Protocol does not yet have, although uh, it's something they could develop in the future, I guess. Star Wars Armada, I think, is probably one of the best designed games in the entire industry, but unfortunately has some glaring issues when it's adapted for organized play. It's very good in one-off games, but as soon as you try to run a tournament with it, for example, it breaks down almost immediately. Legion has some similar issues with length and complexity, not to mention the scoring system not working very good for multi-round play either, and heavy timing restrictions being required so that games don't take like four hours apiece. The existing team at Atomic Mass, who was in charge of Crisis Protocol, hail almost exclusively from either Privateer Press alumni or old War Machine and Hordes mainstays. War Machine and Hordes had one of the best design systems for competitive and organized play, and so hopefully bringing some of those design ethos to these other games could see them in 
improved pretty significantly. But regardless of the actual change that takes place within the games, putting all of these extremely popular titles under Atomic Mass Games' umbrella is a really big move and makes Atomic Mass sort of into, I guess what is, the single biggest popular culture miniature game dev studio in the entire world, which is super cool. I like Star Wars, I love Marvel and the MCU, and having all of those things brought under one roof, I think is has the potential to be extremely exciting. Although I would caution by saying that I don't know how many actual physical changes are gonna take place with these games. Now this move by Asmodee isn't something that's super surprising. I guess just recently they moved almost all of their RPG properties over to Edge Studios, including their Star Wars role-playing game, Legends of the Five Rings role-playing game, their generic system, the Zombicide role-playing game, which I just today learned existed. And it looks like Atomic Mass is in the business of compartmentalizing all of its separate departments, building specific studios for board games, role-playing games, miniature games, etc. I think this is great. I would much rather someone who is experienced with miniature games like Atomic Mass Games build their miniature games rather than someone who's a board game designer, for example, who's then trying to adapt into the miniature game space. I think that's one of the biggest problems with Legion. And while it worked well for X-Wing and Armada, being able to bring sort of board game style mechanics into a miniatures game for those games works particularly well, I think because of their particular flavor. Legion, I mean, just has a lot of things that don't work and uh, definitely needs some updating. Exactly why Asmodee is moving its studios together like this is, I think, still unknown. It may be that they're trying to consolidate their individual studios for sale later on. Unfortunately, I can't really comment on that. We'll just have to wait and see what their plans are. If you don't know who Asmodee is, and basically what I've been talking about has been going right over your head, they are one of the largest game publishing companies in the entire world. They're a multinational group that owns like a like a ton. Like uh, most of the miniatures and board games and role-playing games that you think of in your head are probably owned by Asmodee. If you go to a game store and you look on the shelf for board games, probably two-thirds of those board games are created by companies that are then owned by Asmodee. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a real quick video talking about this announcement because I thought it was so cool and I only have a couple minutes to do it. So hopefully uh, it <laughs> made sense and yeah, everyone learned a little thing uh, about this very exciting news from Atomic Mass. As always, I want to give a big thanks to my patrons. You can join them over at patreon.com slash tactical tortoise. We have a cool new channel membership down below. You can join clicking on the join link. And if you like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube stuff. I do talk about industry news like this sometimes because I'm very interested in the miniature game industry. And uh, anytime a big announcement like this happens, I want to throw my two cents in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to keep it classy, folks. And have happy wargaming. gaming.